fishing. Even when you're in the mood, let's go fishing. Well, it's just me and you. Head on down to the fishing hole. Grab your hat, get your pole. Let's go fishing. When you're in the mood. Canadian Sport Fishing is brought to you in part by Rapala, premium fishing gear crafted from experience. Yamaha, conquer outdoors. Dickies, quality workwear since 1922. Blue Cam, a cleaner running engine for a cleaner environment. You know, I love to fish so much that on some days, if the weather's okay and I have a few hours, even if they're calling maybe for rain or a little bit of wind, I decide to go out to a local waterway and sometimes I'm not really sure what I'm gonna catch. It's not like a planned bass trip or a walleye trip or a trout trip or even fishing with other people. So on this day, I decided to take my pups in a variety of rods, about five or six rods, a whole bunch of gear, because I'm not sure what I'm gonna encounter, and to head out to one of my favorite fishing spots. And what I'm gonna be doing is trying to fish a little bit shallow and then go a little bit deeper and get a variety of fish. You know, sometimes it's not about targeting big fish, it's just about going out there and having some fun. You know, it was nice because I saw this guy follow. He was laying right on the bottom. He came up and usually when you twitch it faster, they come after it, but this guy, I slowed it down and he just came up and nipped it. And he got, he got stung by that rapala. So I want to make sure that he's fought out before I try to grab him, because I can't get him in the net. They're too long, then they get their snout caught, and then you got issues. It looks just like a snake. I find that that number 11 rapala, that's the original one. I don't know if it's the way the three hooks are on there. It's like one of the best lures to use to hook these guys. You can see that long snout. You know, it was so neat. Normally when you get a gar pike to follow, and this guy was about maybe uh, six inches off the bottom, you gotta work it quicker. So I could see him turning, I got a response. He was coming up and the closer he got to it, I started twitching a little bit more. Normally you gotta speed up to get it to hit. But this, in this case, I slowed it down and he came up and just snipped it. Now normally, you know, I would net a fish, but these guys are so long. I don't know if he's gonna throw the hook. Gotta be so careful. I've been tagged on my collar when they head shake, and look, he's, he's popped one hook out. Oh man, I'm glad he's not thrashing around. Yeah, when you get a big one, this isn't a huge one by any means, but when they shake their head like that, careful river, I don't want you to get hooked. If they slip out of your hands, it's so easy to get the hooks in. You look at, isn't that a gorgeous creature? I mean, I've got the, my left hand clamped right down. You know, if you've never held a gar pike, these scales are like armor plating. This may be a small fish, but I gotta tell you what, you gotta respect them. Look, from him shaking, even while I've had him here in the boat, just the one hook was in there. Look it, can you? <laughs> He's like, I'm holding a snake. Ah. He's saying, no, let me go. You can see those teeth. They're small, but they're like tacky sharp, like a pin cushion, lower and top jaw. So when they wanna grab a fish, no problem. The one thing I can say about gar is that they are very hardy. So look, I had that guy out, I can't hold him. There he goes, they are so slick. You know, I can't tell you enough how comfortable this vigorous mat material is. It's amazing, because they do a lot of kneeling down, especially with fish like that, because you can't really stand up. You know, it actually helps to put them on the actual spike. These are spike mats, so they're very soft, very nice on my knees. Yeah. 